I'm so pathetic when it comes to knowing what movies I've done. I'm sorry. I, I just, <laughs> I don't watch them. I feel better not watching them. Um, what was the question again? Uh, how many... Uh, <laughs> I have order in the court, or I will have you removed. Understood? And Mr. Depp was trying to urinate in the floor here, wasn't he? No. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Depp had his penis out of his, out of his pants, didn't he? I think you would have made Relevance. Mr. Depp's penis. Uh, I'll allow. <laughs> Next question. And you were trying to get Mr. Depp out of the house, correct? Correct, I was trying to get Mr. Depp out of the house, yes. I mean, so he was strong enough to break away from your grip, correct? No. no. So, you had his arm and he broke away, though, correct? No. You, you poured yourself a, um, a mega pint of red wine, correct? A mega pint? <laughs> yeah. I poured myself a large glass of wine. Right. I thought it necessary. Right. Um... I once gave uh, Marilyn Manson a pill uh, so that he would s stop talking so much. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right. Um, and a very different thing from what you texted Paul Bettany, correct? Again. Okay. Uh, so she, you, you, the Boston flight was in May. So is it your testimony that right after you cut your finger off, that you are right after, I won't give you anything to argue with me yet. Right after you sustained an injury to your finger. Sorry. That you. I said, on my head, I was like, do you really you think someone's trying to get into your unit? There's scratches like four inches above your the floor and your door. That was the dog trying to get into the unit. They were so afraid. Oh, someone's trying to get into my unit. They're like, oh, come on, really? And I actually, when they asked me to go inside the unit just to check room by room to make sure that no one was there. So I did that. That's correct. That we don't have cameras in the video. I mean, sorry, we don't have cameras at the hallway. We don't have cameras on the hallway. I'm going to show you uh, what has been marked as Romero exhibit number one. It's a deposition that you was taken of you on July back at that time, two months after the incident. Yes, I do. I remember because, like I said, I was I always make eye contact with someone I'm talking to, but I'm not looking to find something like, like oh, your makeup is wrong, uh, you, you haven't uh, have changed your eyebrows or your uh, eyelashes are not even or. I'm not looking for anything. I'm just looking at their eyes, and I'm looking. I'm not looking for anything else. But if I see something, I will re probably will remember. May twenty-four. Yes. Yep. Now it's Tuesday. But in fact, you don't recall seeing Amber Heard on May twenty-fourth, correct? It's, I don't remember. I don't even remember what I got for breakfast. Okay. Well, let's pull up exhibit number one. Let's stay on page 17. That's a good place. Not a bathroom door, five bathroom doors, and two bedrooms. Uh, is Johnny that not right? is not an accurate historian of what happened during Ms. Heard, that uh, Ms. period Heard, of time. I'll guarantee Ms. you. Ms. Heard, that's not my question. Five bathroom doors, two bedrooms. That's what you knocked on. You were asked by Ms. Vasquez about why Mr. Depp won't or can't look you in the eye. And she read out, or she played a tape in which Mr. Depp said, you will not see my eyes again. Do you recall that? I do. And that was during the mediation process in July. Do you have a drinking problem, Johnny? Objection calls for hearsay. What the doctor? A different question, Mr. Depp. Um, yes. Let's let him object to another one. <laughs> um, for him to cook. That's hearsay, I guess. I know, I just sure it's offered for the truth of the matter asserted. He, he got it. Okay, all right, well then. I'm learning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Is Disney aware that Mr. Depp has testified under oath that 
he would not take another Pirates of the Caribbean franchise role for $300 million and a million alpacas. No. Would Disney entertain paying Mr. Depp more than $300 million and provide him with more than a million alpacas to be able to obtain his uh, services for any future Pirates of the Caribbean role? No. I'm going to show you what had been marked as deposition exhibit number 52 to Alan Horn. He'd had a conversation with Ms. Hurd. Hearsay, Your Honor. Let's move beyond the All conversation right, that Kevin Certainly. Murphy had with Ms. Hurd. Okay. And, um, it appears that Ms. Hurd had told... Hearsay, Your Honor. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, this is a, uh, apparently a statement by Ms. Hurd. Uh, that he received... Well, I think, uh, uh, okay. So I think it was in the context... I think it was in the... I should, probably should read the context of it. Because I think the context was... And I'm trying to think back. And I'm trying to think back. Okay? And what I thought it was related to was if you're coming to some deposition, that all of this is unethical, which is what you are saying. This is what you are. This is how I'm interpreting what you are saying to me, that unless you do the evaluation directly yourself. There were numerous negative news stories about you. You'd agree with that, correct? Objection, compound. All right. I'll sustain it to compound. Last week, Mr. Rottenborn asked you about uh, a quote where you said you wouldn't come back to the Pirates franchise for three hundred million dollars and a million alpacas. Do you remember that? I do. What? When relative to has no bearing on this case and is thus not germane to this litigation. Therefore, I'll deny the non-party HM Productions motion to intervene. Thank you, Your Honor. Right. Uh, for you. the record, I've known Mr. Tobin for several years. I meant no snarkiness uh, toward him. Well, you're just a snarky guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank 